days. Uh, morning. Seriously. Uh, Todd. Todd. Uh, what? Todd, you gotta get up and get ready for school, okay? It's like, it's almost like 8 o'clock right now. You gotta be getting ready. Uh, fine. School can go to hell. Let's see here. Uh, where should I search for girls today? Uh, Europe, Africa, Asia. Asia, probably. Let's see here. Oh, wait, South America. Todd. What is it, Dad? You gotta be getting ready for school. <sighs> Give me a second, Dad, and I'll get in the car. Okay, Todd, but I guess... But I have one last thing to ask of you. What? Stop calling your grandmother Mom. It's weird. Do I have Mom? No. You were adopted. I paid five bucks for you. Well, that's nice to hear. Are you going to be getting ready for school, or are you just going to sit there? <sighs> I told you, I'll see you in the car. Okay, fine, Todd. Ooh, buenos dias. Oh, I really have to go pee. Oh, it's uncontainable. I can't see! Dad! Dad! Dad, I can't see! Dad, where are you? Dad! Dad! Todd! Dad, where are you? Todd, where were you? Okay? You being late made me miss an appointment with one of my best clients. I can't see you, Dad. Todd, uh, God damn it, Todd, just sit next to me and we'll figure this out. Okay, Todd, so, I mean, you can't see, so what exactly happened? Uh, I don't want to say. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Todd, please don't tell me. That you've been looking at girls online all day long? Yes. Then that's why your eyes, like, can't see, Todd. Why? You're probably blind because of all the blue screen. Why? That's what happens when you stare at a computer screen all day long. Uh, it's my responsibility. To search for a girl. No, it's not, Todd. No girl's gonna want you. You're too ugly. Uh, ain't it the fact that men are from Mars and f women are from Venus? Yeah, and guess what, Todd? You're from Jupiter. I don't care. You made me miss an important client with Swift. You made me miss an important meeting with Swift for today, okay? I don't care. Get my eyes fixed, Dad. Fine, Todd, we're gonna go see Dr. Hartman, but you better not do this again, or else I'm taking away your allowance. Go ahead and try, Dad. Where is he? Well, thanks, that was nice. You're not my real manager. Okay, Todd, so we got you an appointment. The doctor should be in any minute now. How long do we have to be here? Cause, uh... 
I won't be able to go to my laptop again. Todd, you're not going to your laptop until you can see again, and even if you do that, I'm taking away all your laptops. What? Wait, what? That's right, Todd. I'm taking away all your laptops. <sighs> yeah, I'm giving them to I'm giving them to my clients. What? Personal information is on there. Don't give a crap, Todd. Okay? Now just wait. Doctor will prescribe you some medicine and then you can just at least be semi-normal again. <sighs> Todd, shut up. Mr. Todd? What? We're ready for you now. Uh, you better be good in there, Todd, or else, you know, worse things are gonna happen. Fine, Dad. Have a seat, Todd. <sighs> hey, Mr. Todd. So, what seems to be the problem today? I don't want to say. Well, for me to help you, I sort of have to know. He doesn't want to say because he's an idiot. So, what happened? I might as well tell you because he's not going to say it. So, what happened, Doctor, is that, well, today before, well, today and multiple other days, I asked him to get ready for school, and turns out he spends 19 hours staring at his laptop looking at innocent little girls online. What? That's not exactly the truth. Todd, it is the truth, then no matter what, is what it, you say. Then what is the truth, Todd? I need to know. You want your eyes to get better? Yes. Then I need to know. What happened? What he said. Yeah, see, exactly. You're an idiot, Todd. I can't deal with you, okay? I have so many different clients that have to get their money, that have to get their prep for their videos, and I'm stuck here with you. Well, real nice, Dad. And you think Coral's a good pen name? Todd, shut up. So, what do you think we should do? Because uh, he's, he's not going to do anything to help himself. Well, we got a couple different options I can give you. There's do they cost money? Because we don't have any money. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but I can bill you, so you can just pay me when you can. Um, because I feel bad for this little guy. You feel bad for him? Yeah, his eyes are all wonky and stuff. I, I do feel bad for him, so I'll see what I can really? do. I bought him for $5 in a fish tank at the local pet store. You really feel bad for him? Oh, yes. I feel bad for everybody. That's why I'm a doctor. So, see that, Dad? What we can do is we can give you a prescription. You take one now, and then one before you go to bed. Yeah, listen to that, Todd. And then there's this device I can put over your eyes. So, for the next six hours, you can't take it off your eyes until you go to bed. When you go to bed, take it off. When it's dark, you can take it off. No light, no TV. No internet, no computer, no nothing for six weeks. What? And your yeah, eyes Todd? will be fine. Your eyes will be perfectly fine. You'll be able to go back to do whatever you were doing. All right? Just give me one minute. I'm going to go get the prescription for it. All right? You're fine. Hear that, Todd? Your eyes are going to get better, but you're going to have to just stick there and do nothing. Exactly what I want you to do. So, first of all, here's your prescription. I'll, I'll be taking that. Why? Because I'm going to be giving you the medicine. Remember, he's going to take one of those before he leaves from here. And he's going to take another one before he goes to bed. He will. All right. And I got this. This thing right here is going to go over your eyeballs for six to eight weeks, depending on when your eyes actually start feeling better. <laughs> all right, Todd? Here we go. Wait, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Leave that on your eyes. Hear that, Todd? I should tape this to your eyes. Six to eight weeks. Whoa. You gotta leave it on. All right. And that means no talking to you either, else it's gonna fall off. That's right. So, other than that, any more questions? Yes, can you please prescribe a medicine that'll help with his brain damage? It's not brain damage. He's a teenager, right? 
Yes, he is. So all teenagers are perverted hormonal teens. That's just the way it works. Well, I guess I got the epiphany of that right here. All right. So, well, nice to meet you. We'll see yeah. you guys again summertime. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dad, seriously? Do I have to keep these things on for six to eight weeks? Yeah, you do. And you cannot take them off even when the lights are out. Okay, the doctor's a quack, and I don't care what he says. You're going to keep all those on day and night. Ugh, my ass. Okay, Todd, I don't care, okay? I got to catch up on some work, and you're going to sit here in bed for six to eight weeks. No food, no water, no TV, no video games, no nothing. Well, you're a real father of the year, Dad. Well, fine. I'm going to go. Bye. Today's the day. I'm back. Hot mom is on Craigslist. <laughs>